everyone! Welcome back to Rita Roo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today I'm so excited to share another awesome book with you. If you're as excited as I am, be sure to give this video a thumbs up below and don't forget to click subscribe. That way, every time we post a new story, you and I can read together again right away. We also have activities that go along with our books every single month. So to get those, head over to readaroukids.com. All right, today's book is called What Lives in the Arctic? Ooh, let's find out. Let's get started. What Lives in the Arctic by Una gardner Gentry. The Arctic is the part of the Earth that is farthest north. It includes the Arctic Ocean and the frozen land around it. The center of the Arctic Ocean is covered with ice. Where is the Arctic Circle? So here's the map. The Arctic Circle is in an imaginary circle around the top of the Earth. The North Pole is at the center of the Arctic Circle. What does the Arctic look like? The land in the Arctic is called the Arctic Tundra. It is frozen and treeless. Few plants, such as grass and lichen, grow in the Arctic. This is the Atlantic Puffin, and it's a bird and it lives in the Arctic. Atlantic Puffins spend most of their time at sea. Puffins make nests on rocky cliffs in the spring. Females lay a single egg. The male and female puffins take turns caring for the egg. Puffins dive underwater to catch herring and other small fish to eat. This is the Arctic fox. It's a mammal and it lives in the Arctic also. Arctic foxes walk on top of the snow. They listen for small animals that are underneath. Arctic foxes have the warmest fur of any mammal. Arctic foxes have white fur in the winter and gray or brown fur in the summer. The snowy owl is a bird and it also lives in the Arctic. Snowy owls have excellent hearing and eyesight. Snowy owls can find their prey even if it's hidden under the snow. Unlike other owls, snowy owls hunt during the day. Snowy owls have white feathers to help them blend in with their surroundings. Females have more brown spots than males. This is the harp seal. It's a mammal and it also lives in the Arctic. Harp seals are all white when they are born. This makes it harder for predators to see baby seals on the ice. Their coats turn darker and develop spots when they're older. See, darker and with spots. Harp seals spend most of their adult lives in the ocean. They can stay underwater for up to 15 minutes. This is a walrus. It's a mammal and also lives in the Arctic. Walruses have tusks that can grow up to three feet long. Walruses use their tusks to help pull themselves out of the water. They eat sea creatures like shrimp, clams, and crabs. Walruses are very social and live in herds. A herd can have more than a hundred walruses. Look, they're all resting together in a group. This is the beluga whale. It's a mammal and also born in the Arctic and lives there. Beluga whales travel in groups called pods. Belugas are very vocal and communicate with clicks and whistles. Unlike most other whales, the beluga whale has a flexible neck. It can turn its head in all directions. Musk ox is a mammal and also lives in the Arctic. Musk oxen roam the Arctic looking for food. They eat grass, lichen, and willows. They have a thick, shaggy overcoat and a softer undercoat to keep them warm. Musk oxen stand in a circle around their calves to protect them. Ooh, this is a polar bear, and it's a mammal, and it also lives in the Arctic. Polar bears are good swimmers and can see well underwater. They have an excellent sense of smell. A polar bear can smell a seal beneath the ice a mile away. A polar bear's large feet are like snowshoes. They are also furry to keep the polar bear from sliding on the ice. I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. 
To make sure that we can do that, be sure to click the subscribe button below and don't forget to give this book a like. That way we know you want to see more books just like this from us. If you'd like activities to go along with our books, you can head over to readaroukids.com. There we do all kinds of fun things like science experiments, arts and crafts. We even practice our math and reading skills. We cook together. We have so much fun, so I hope you'll come on over there and join me. If you'd like to see what we're up to every day, you can head over to all of our social media. Again, I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Rita Roo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.